Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the messages. All right, sorry about that guys. Let's go ahead and get into the messages, all right? Um, I'm gonna clear the energy. All right, Spirit, please be with me through this reading for the Libra Collective. I pray that I will perform against us shall prosper. Please protect me as I channel the messages and block any negative energy, evil I spell with, or that may be being sent this way. I shame, man. All right, Libra, let's get into it. We're not using this deck. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. What are the messages for Libra, my Libra Collective, Libra Fam, so tribe. Messages for my Libras at this time. Libra, thank you, Spirit. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Getting something about chrysanthemums. Something about spiders. Or a spider, a black widow, huh? Okay, a black widow spider, or some, or a black widow, okay. Okay, let's see. Messages for Libra, messages for Libra. What does Libra need to know or be aware of, or need confirmation of at this time? What messages do you have for Libra? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Okay. So Libra, you got um Something about theft here, okay? Something about theft and something about robbery. So be aware or, yeah, be aware of this. This is warning you about some type of loss that will be um, irretrievable. And this is talking about a robbery, like theft, okay? Hmm. And this is some type of betrayal, I'm getting like this may be somebody that you know or something like that. June 29th could be significant. <clears throat> um, what is that? Gemini energy could be significant, or June could be significant. That's also Cancer, but June 29th is Gemini. This could happen at your home, or this could happen like while you're traveling. I don't know, somebody may steal your, your bags or your luggage or your packages or even like your purse. This is talking about a robbery. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be some type of betrayal. Somebody trying to steal, somebody stealing from you, not trying to, somebody stealing from you, from somebody here in this, in the collective. Yeah, and it's feeling like a betrayal, like somebody that you know. <clears throat> Maybe like even a setup. February could be significant. It might be 29 or 46. June 2nd, February the 6th. February 9th, April 6th could be significant. All right. October 8th, August 10th, <clears throat> June 10th, February 10th, 
August 2nd, August 6th, August 29th, February 29th. I don't know if I said that. Okay, somebody could be 36. What is this about? Oh, that's a lot. Okay. So I was really trying to see if that betrayal card came out, but it didn't. But I'm going to see what's surrounding it. Because that's the image that I got in my mind when I said Black Widow. So you have... Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's like some snakes and rats and things around you. Somebody you need to cut ties with. Yeah. Somebody's going to do something out of anger. <clears throat> Somebody's going to do something out of anger and I, it's some type of betrayal or something like that yeah sorry guys i had to pause for a second my daughter came in so i kind of forgot where i was but yeah there's um i was saying something about betrayal and um uh, let me go look in the deck again um yeah, somebody you need to cut ties with somebody. Oh, somebody's gonna do something out of anger. That's what I was saying. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but you got secrets revealed out here, and this ha this may have something to do. With, I'm hearing tantric sex. All right, so this may have something to do with this is um the pleasure card is out here. Okay, so something about pleasure. Some some about some type of secrets are gonna be revealed when it comes to. Um, it seems like something sexual, so I don't know. Maybe somebody's having, like, I'm getting secret desires and fantasies about you and things like that. And that may come to light. I don't know. Maybe because of this, they are doing some type of, you know, something. <laughs> I might mean, like, sex work or sex magic or tantric sex or something like that, okay? Okay. Somebody may also be trying to get you pregnant, so be aware of that, okay, because you got that good good, and they're trying to get you pregnant, okay, that's uh, not for everybody, but yeah, I'm just saying, oh yeah, somebody definitely trying to get somebody pregnant, somebody definitely going to end up pregnant, okay, but I feel like um, with this secrets reveal card here is what we need to focus on. So, I don't know. There could be some kind of betrayal that has to do with a pregnancy or a baby. Um, child, what is this? <laughs> I want to know why this secret's revealed is here. Let me see. Somebody may be sick or have some type of illness. I'm seeing um, 443, you may be seeing. July is significant. June, July is significant. Okay, so the next two months may be significant. Tell me about uh, Secrets Revealed. Why is it here? Tell me about Secrets Revealed. Why is it here? Nothing's coming out. On the bottom of the deck, you have mm, the dark clouds, the crossroads. Hmm. Tell me about secrets revealed. I'm going to have to switch decks. Has something to do with a man, okay? Something about a man, a gentleman, a man. All right, I'm hearing something about he. 
some he did his dirty work or somebody did the dirty work for somebody he did his dirty work wow and then on the bottom of the deck you got the bribing card persuasion temptation somebody was paying for something paying for evidence paying for something paying for information this could be about you Huh. Okay. I, I did say, you know, we've been saying in a couple of readings that somebody paying for information. Tell me about uh, Secrets Revealed. Why is it here? Oh. This guy has something to do with work or money or finances or marriage. Hmm. This could have something to do with a friend or a close relative I'm getting. And I'm seeing 36, 36. You got two card number 36 out here. So you may want to um, look up that angel number 36, 36. Somebody could be 36. March the 6th could be very significant. Okay. <clears throat> There's something about a friend, friendship. So again, like I said, somebody that is close to you. Yeah, didn't I say somebody's doing something out of anger? There's the, the anger card. Mm. And it's going to end in a disaster. But I feel like you're going to end up getting blessed. And you may turn your back on this person. Yeah, somebody is sick and they need your help. But this is somebody that um, is angry and doing something to you. Like they're sending you some type of negative energy or they're like um, literally paying for spell work or something. Or they're trying to, they did something. Something's going to end up in a disaster. Yeah, it's going to fail because you're going to be blessed anyway. You're getting blessed, blessed anyway. And I feel like you're going to turn your back on this person who could be sick. But I'm also getting... Um, yeah, if you're going through some type of conflict or something like that with... Um, with a loved one, okay, whether this is like a romantic partnership or anything else, if you're going through a hard time with a loved one, just like having like disagreements and fights and things like that, I feel like that is kind of balancing itself back out. Like things are going to be more stable in that situation and you're probably going to be stronger than you were before. So somebody could have been doing something to try to manipulate your um, energy with between the energy between you and another person yeah look puppet strings pulling the strings somebody trying to control the outcome or uh, control something yeah i want to know about this robbery um this thief What deck? Yeah, let's use this deck. Tell me about this this robbery, because it says the loss will be irretrievable. All right. Somebody's gonna take something from you that you're not gonna be able to retrieve. Or there's some type of loss that will be irretrievable. But I... Uh, let's see. What is this about? Yeah, you do have somebody looking you up. Getting info on you. And this person is seeing you winning. They're seeing you doing well. And they want to be like you. They want to do what you're doing. 
They feel intimidated and threatened by you. Tell me about this robbery. What do we need to know about this situation? Looking you up. Obsessive lover. And digging up dirt. Looking for information on you. Digging up dirt. Talking shit about you. Somebody talks talking shit from fake accounts. All right. Somebody like spying on you, watching you, or even interacting with you from fake accounts. I'm getting like trolling. Trolling. This is somebody, this is like an obsessive person. It says obsessive lover, but this could be anybody, y'all. Like, it could be a loved one, like a family member or a friend or something that you're no longer dealing with. This could be an ex, literally an ex-lover. This Whoever this person is, they're dangerous and they're toxic. They're possessive. It's a karmic energy, all right? This, you could be moving, not even bothered by this person, but this person is very, very bothered by you, okay? And you need to, I feel like you need to be aware of this because you're not worried about this person or you're not thinking about this person or this may be the last person that you would even think that you need to be concerned about or this person is the furthest thing from your mind, but they may be over here plotting and planning some stuff. So you need to be aware that somebody could be over here plotting and planning something. All right. What else? Tell me about this obsessive lover. Tell me about this obsessive lover. Somebody that wants to start some drama. Look, karmic friends on the bottom of the deck. I told you. You got some some friends. And when I say friends, I'm doing this and they're giving me like um, social media. So this is for those of you who have some type of social media account where you have friends. OK, whether um, and there's somebody that you are friends with. OK, on one of those accounts that is not probably not your friend in real life. They could be OK um, or they could have been at one point. But they're probably not somebody you hang out with in real life. Like, you know, you're not, like, talking to this person on the daily or, you know, just hanging out with this person. But whoever this person is, they, <laughs> it's like they're getting, yeah, evidence on you. They're, they take screenshots of your posts and stuff. You're unbothered. It's two, it's two energies, I feel like. I feel like one is a love situation, like a an ex or something like that and the other could be like a friend or a family member because one yeah one person is like a more of like a friend ish type of energy and the other one is more like a love situation it could be this obsessive lover person because you're unbothered and uninterested <laughs> like yeah and this person these people they watch you Mm-hmm. Yeah. They watch you. And there's the thief card again. So somebody is trying to figure out how to take something from you. And this could be a, like a legal situation as well. But you got um, this person that wants to start some drama. This could be about a third-party situation. This definitely could be an ex. Somebody that wants maybe you. Maybe you, you had a secret affair with this person before. Or they want a secret affair with you now. Okay. I don't know, but, um, yeah, it, it's like, there's definitely two energies that I'm picking up on here. Okay. And I'm going to use some tarot and clarify this obsessive lover and the karmic friend, but, uh, I'm going to pull from the Kipper deck first. You got gift out here twice. You got a gift out here twice, and I just heard beware. So this and this gift could be coming from this friend because you got friendship. I feel like there's there's a there's a situation here. There's a person here. There's a situation. 
that um, you are very relaxed in, okay? I don't think you you are aware of this. And even if this is somebody that you're not currently dealing with anymore, you're still not thinking that this is somebody that you need to be, you know, looking out for, or this is somebody that you need to be worried about because these people are the furthest thing from your mind. This love interest might be a little closer to home for you, but whoever this friend energy is, Either you don't know this person like that, um, or this person is like the furthest stand from your mind. You haven't talked to them, so you don't think about them. But they thinking about you, and they thinking some really weird shit, okay? So, yeah. Need to be aware of this, Libra. Cause it's, it's, show, it's definitely showing up here for a reason, all right? I'm hearing undress. I'm here and I like it when you undress. What the fuck? Okay, wealthy man, you could be dealing with an a main female. So you could be dealing with someone or you have dealt with someone that may be, you know, um, pretty well off. They may be very stable, pretty wealthy, or, you know, they may be like a business owner or something like that. Mm, confirmation. Alright. I know y'all probably keep wondering why my alarm is <laughs> my fire alarm is going off. The first time it was the the Palo Santo smoke. Cause I have an alarm uh uh yeah, like literally right here. Like right underneath here, okay? And then this time my boyfriend is in the kitchen and he's cooking, so I don't think he's not burning anything, but our alarm is very, very sensitive, okay? So, everything's fine. I know you're probably like, why, why? Dang, alarm keep going off. She's not even moving. We're fine. <laughs> All right, for Libra. For Libra needs to know. Yep, this is why I pulled this deck, because I knew this false person was going to come out. Mm-hmm, somebody just as fake as a $3 bill, child. False person. And it's a female. I'm hearing intrusive. Whoever this feminine energy is, is very intrusive. Like, I don't know what that means to you. They could be somebody that's very um, overbearing, intruding on your life, like always in your business or something like that. Very nosy. But and it could be too uh, masculine energy as well. Remember I said... I was feeling two energies and there's literally two energies on this card, this false person card. So, yeah, you guys need to be aware of these two people because you have sudden wealth on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like you're about to come into some some money. Whoever's connecting with this reading, you're about to be wealthy or well off or you're about to have more money than you've ever seen in your life that could be this gift that's coming in here and when this comes in you're gonna have people around you that's really like gonna show show their true colors and i feel like these people are gonna be someone that you're so relaxed around you're comfortable around these people and you're not gonna be expecting how these people act and somebody may literally try to set you up to steal from you or rob you or have like something like that or even have you unalive. Like that's just what I'm getting here. And y'all know I don't even say stuff like that, but that's just what I what I'm getting here. So I'm feeling like somebody coming into some sudden wealth, you're gonna be doing or this could and this could doesn't have to be it, it kind of feels like an inheritance type of energy. So it could be an inheritance of some kind. Somebody could even be in winning some type of winnings, like a uh, jackpot winnings, lottery, I don't know, bingo, child, scratch off, something like that. But you're about to come into some type of abundance here. And this reading is warning you of the be to be aware of the energies around you and those that may be coming in, even new energies. Because you have someone, people here that are trying to stop this and block your pathway. Mm. Yeah.
And this sudden wealth card is number 11. 11 is the justice card. This could be something coming from, like I said, some, some legal proceedings of some kind. It could be an inheritance or, or something. Maybe you just, you know, starting a business and you got it popping like that, Libra. I don't know what the, where this is from. It looks more like a court situation. Some of you may be winning like a settlement. Okay. And this could have something to do with your job. So you could be winning some, some type of settlement. I'm hearing disgruntled employee or like, I don't know, some workman comp or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> okay. And with this community card out here, Followed by this false person, I feel like the main female is you, whether you're feminine or masculine, okay? Whether you're male or female, I feel like you're showing up here as the main female. And um, you, there could, the, this is a community of false people, like a whole circle, like a whole lot of fake ass people around you, okay? A whole lot of fake shit. Yeah, and I feel like this is really happening quicker than you you guys think like this is something that is happening um yeah like faster than you think with the pathway card in the reverse because the pathway card usually talks about something taking a long time maybe even up to two years but i feel like with it in reverse this is talking about something that is not that far away okay maybe even like three to five weeks or months or days okay i don't think days but i'm saying it I, I would say weeks or months okay yeah yeah so i feel like this is about um some money or abundance and heritage or something that you have not quite come into yet so this is trying to prepare you more like a, a, you know, a warning or a heads up to take note of the people, you know, around you. All right. So, yeah, I do want to dive into this, um, get some information about this obsessive lover and this karmic friend that you should be looking out for. OK, so if you're interested in that, I'm going to take this over to the extended readings um, if you would like to if you have not joined members already, um, then that is where the extended reading will be. Um, just click the link in the bottom in the description box and it'll take you to a page to join members. You have to do so from a web page, not a mobile page. So you can use the web version of YouTube on your phone. Excuse me. Or you can um, go into... Ugh, you can go to YouTube from like a laptop or a computer and click join. Okay, so if I leave it, if this is where I leave you, then thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Um, for those of you that are going over to the extended reading, I'll see you there. All right, bye.